Executive producer of the BVI Music Fest, Rodney Skelton, has sought to dispel concerns about the staging of the event scheduled from May 23rd to the 25th. But he has been accused of not communicating with the business owners in King Garden Bay. However, Skelton has rebutted those claims, saying some business owners have not responded to invitations to participate in meetings. Sean Rose has more. A number of business owners here in Cane Garden Bay report that this is one of their best tourist seasons ever. And the evidence is all around us here today as we can see scores of visitors have flocked to the Cane Garden Bay beach. But one of the main concerns leading up to the staging of the BVI Music Fest 2014 is whether or not the event will be held in fact and would it be held here? What is government's level of support? and what are the contributions or the responsibilities of the business owners and establishments here in Cane Garden Bay. Executive producer of the BVI Music Fest and also film commissioner and events marketing manager at the BVI Tourist Board, Rodney Skelton, says he is optimistic that the BVI Music Fest 2014 would be held. Speaking to JTV News during a telephone conversation, Skelton said the RVIPF now recognized the Music Fest as a national event, and so too does the BVI Tourist Board. He further expressed optimism that there is enough time to pull off the event, noting that in the past, funds from government for the fest were never made available until a mere two weeks before the event. However, there seem to be blurred lines of communication among the stakeholders. Some of the business operators here in King Garden Bay say that they have not heard anything about the music fest from the organizers of the event. The business owners also told JTV News that the decision to confine the music fest activities to an enclosed area some years ago had a negative impact on the event. They also see the cost of tickets to enter the venue as being prohibitive. According to Skelton, he along with representative for the 2nd District Honorable Alvin Christopher and some business operators from Cane Garden Bay held meetings with Premier Dr. Orlando Smith recently and were assured that funds would be allocated for the 2014 event. In a recent interview, Skelton seemed doubtful that the event would get the green light. It's... it's it Danger, I don't like to use that word, because again, that, that, that puts a little negative there, but there is a possibility that there may not be a, a music festival this year. Meanwhile, some people see the BVI Music Fest as a private event and should not receive government funding because of government's limited input in the event management process. I think sometimes it's hard if you don't see the tangible. If you, if you don't see that at the end of the event when you look at the Music Fest uh, uh, account, and they made 30000 50000 and, and that money isn't made at the gate, it's hard for them to see that the hotels made that money. You know, your departure tax made that money. The marinas and the boats that are coming in and, and are paying for fuel and dockage, and the, this is where the money is going. So if you invest, as we know that they've done both times that I've been executive producer, you invest 150000 that money is coming back in the community. It's coming back in the hotels and the, the rentals of vehicles and all of that. But again, the key is give the funding early and then you may be able to even realize it more. One plausible question is whether or not the BVI Festivals and Fairs Committee should have a stake in the Music Fest, seeing that it is now regarded as a national event, as Kelton pointed out. Concerns have also been expressed about the high operational cost of the BVI Music Fest. Specific mention was made of the cost for sourcing stage lights and sound to the tune of $150,000. Some say if the Music Fest is a tourism event, then there is need for improving the visitor's experience by infusing more local food and cultural entertainment on the beach to minimize the high expense of sourcing international artists. As we move closer to the date for the BVI Music Fest 2014 scheduled for May, we look forward to hearing more details and some assurances as to whether or not the event would actually be held here in Cane Garden Bay. And would it be held at all this year? Sean Rose, JTV News.